Welcome and hello Knipex fans. Greetings to you live from our headquarters in Wuppertal. My name is Britta Jung and I am Head of Product Management. In the past year, Knipex has spent a lot of time in research and development of new products and it's all been leading up to today. We always try to top our last year's innovations, so I'm really looking forward to your feedback. Like last year, together with Brandy Bridges, our product trainer at Knipex, we can't wait to present this year's Knipex innovations to you. Thank you, Britta, and a warm welcome from my side. It's good to be back, isn't it? As the product trainer for Knipex, I'm very lucky in that I get to spend a lot of time with our new products early on. And believe me, you are going to love what we are going to show you today. We have new methods of transport for your tools and two new, very versatile pliers. Around the globe, we find professional users who deliberately choose our tools. There is a good reason for this, of course, because we ourselves have the highest standards for our products. Our goal is very clear. We strive for perfection and we work on it every day. When you hear the name Knipex, the first thing that comes to mind is pliers, of course. But we have also been developing solutions for tool transport for around 30 years. We now have several families of tool bags and tool cases in our product range. And just like our pliers, we are constantly developing them further and adapting them more and more to your needs. And that's what today's issue is all about. Let's start by diving into the exciting topic of tool organization and transport. Imagine that we don't launch new tools just like that. Before even the first sketches and samples are created, we listen carefully to what professionals need and what they want. That's right. And after hearing your requirements, we took an even closer look. What exactly happens on construction sites? How do professionals transport their tools? And what can be improved in existing tool transport systems? Craftsmen are often on foot on their way to the construction site, and those paths can be muddy or the pavement uneven. In that case, classic two cases or trolleys don't run as smoothly. Right, and what if you have to climb up or down ladders? How are you gonna take your tools with you? We hear you, and for exactly these applications, we now have the perfect companion for you. This is our first tool backpack, the Knipex Modular X18. The first tool backpack from Knipex, developed by professionals for professionals. In the development of the Modular X18, our main focus was on ergonomics, functionality, and individual adaptability, which is why we named it Modular. The backpack has to suit you, and you must be able to adapt it to your needs. The backpack is especially robust and made from the highest quality materials. Its generous volume of 18 liters means you will always have the necessary tools with you. And it won't weigh you down as it only has an empty weight of 2.9 kilos. It's simply the perfect companion for continuous use in rough everyday work. We sent the Modular X18 to Ryan Davis, well known for his YouTube channel R Davis Electrical. Let's see what he has to say. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Ryan from R. Davis Electrical. 
and I'm very excited to announce the new Knipex Modular X18 Tool Backpack. So this is the first bag that Knipex have designed as a backpack. The bag is made from recycled polyester. We have got a waterproof hard base at the bottom of the bag. As you can see from the front, we have the Molly webbing system on the front of this bag. If you want to clip on carabiners or any other accessories off this bag, you can. Reflective stitching on this bag as well. So if you are carrying this other night time, you will get some sort of reflectiveness of this. So perfect of a night time. We go on to the back, padded straps, padded back as well on this. And you also have your chest strap when carrying as well. Side pockets, you got a pocket for your water bottle, D-ring, and on the opposite side, more external pockets, as well as a tape loop. So what we're gonna do, we're going to the rear of the bag first. So, big, huge zips, reinforced, plenty of pockets. We have a laptop holder in the rear, Another large pocket beneath that for notepads, etc. Three larger pockets for any sort of meters. And then a couple of extra zip pockets in here. I've got some leads. And then another webbed zip pocket, large web zip pocket that we've got some tethered bits in. So plenty of storage space within the rear side of this backpack. So now we jump into the main section of the bag. This is the part of the bag where you will hold the majority of your tools. So as we push the flap down, you will first notice the two elasticated straps here. These are fully adjustable. This works as a kind of tool tray to lay down tools, etc. Then we have a zipped pocket here. At the moment, I've got a few Wagos. And you have got an extra part here. I've got some gloves and a and then a bit more of the Molly system. So overall in this bag, we have 37 pockets and 21 elasticated straps as well. You will notice that this part here is again, elasticated to gain access to tools behind, but this is fully removable. Two poppers and then a Velcro bottom and then this is released. So you have pockets on the front and pockets on the rear as well. This then can grant you access to the rest of the tools in your bag. And as you can see, this is absolutely round this bag. So the overall weight of the bag is 2.9 kilograms empty. Max load of the bag is 15 kg. At the moment, with all the tools that I've got within the bag, and as you can see, there's quite a few, this bag only weighs 12 kilograms in its current state. That's including all tools, laptop and everything. So you can still fit quite a lot more within this bag and it still weight wise is very manageable as well. Overall, a great bag from Knipex, perfect for electricians and plumbers. The Modula X18 is also available in different varieties. We currently have an electrical and a plumbing assortment for the European market on offer. The most important tools for the respective trade are already included. As always, you can find all information about the varieties and once again all information about the Modular X18 on our website. After the premiere of our first tool backpack, we are now proud to present another innovation. Knipex not only sets the bar very high when it comes to tools, but we have also been strongly committed to the field of tool cases for many years. Our tool cases are tailored to the different requirements of craftsmen and therefore available in a variety of sizes and features. Many of you probably know our classic tool cases in the basic or big twin families or in rough environments, the robust case. You only have one chance to make a good impression on your customers. If you arrive on site with a high quality tool case from Knipex, your tools sorted and ready for action, your customers will see you as a professional. Let us introduce you today to our latest member of the Robust family, so popular among professionals, the Robust 26 Move. 
our robust cases have already proven themselves on construction sites all over the world and under the toughest conditions. Many of you already know the robust 45 move or may have seen it at a colleague's site, but the new little brother should not be underestimated. It too is made of impact resistant polypropylene and is thus impressively robust. You know, when we do something, we do it right. And that's why it can, of course, do a lot more. The robust 26 move is also dust and waterproof, as well as temperature stable from minus 30 degrees to plus 80 degrees Celsius. So your tools are even safely protected, whether you're in the Sahara or at the South Pole. Maximum mobility is especially important when you travel a lot. This is another strength of the new tool case. As part of the move range, it is equipped with sturdy smooth running wheels and a practical telescopic handle. With a payload of 25 kilos, its trolley function offers a real advantage and you will not want to miss these little extras. There are two sturdy devices for padlocks because good tools should always be well secured. Also an important feature when traveling. Of course, you always have everything under control with the new move. Here you can see the ergonomic two-component handle with which the load is distributed very effectively over the entire palm of your hand. The robust 26 move is closed by two stable snap locks that can be opened very easily. It is also equipped with an automatic pressure equalization valve which makes it suitable for flying without restrictions if you ever need to take your know-how to the skies. Now from the impressive exterior to the no less impressive interior. What immediately catches the eye are the two gas spring opening devices. These force the sturdy lip upwards immediately after opening. This is of course very practical on the construction site, but more importantly, it is also an optimal solution for safety reasons. That's right, especially when the tool boards are equipped, quite a bit of weight is added up. Other case lids can then very easily fold shut and injure the user under certain circumstances. For example, when resting your hand on the edge of the case. Not with the robust. As you can see, even if I press quite hard against the lid from the outside, it doesn't close. For me, this is an indispensable safety feature in the new robust 26 move. We all know it's what's on the inside that counts. Hard work requires smart solutions. Therefore, the layout of the case is also well thought through. The 19 tool pockets and 61 holding loops make it extremely versatile and individually usable. And you know we Germans love having things in perfect order. The tool boards are made of dirt repellent twin wall polypropylene sheets, which ensure your tools are right where you need them. The tool bars are also easy to remove and replace. You can further customize the case with the sturdy aluminum dividers in the bottom tray. These can also be adapted to your needs. Here you will also find an abundance of other clever solutions, like accessible magnetic trays for small parts such as bits, screws or washers on the sides. I am sure this is another feature that many of you will not want to be without. Also, the bottom compartment can be locked so that tools and small parts stay where they belong. Here too, we are pleased to already offer you sets for plumbing and electrical applications. For more information, just have a look at our homepage. It won't disappoint. Let's now move on to another important addition to our family of tool cases. Every year, the number of new electric vehicle registrations are increasing. With the new Knipex basic toolcase for electric vehicles, automotive workshops and companies that service these vehicles are now well equipped for the future. The case itself contains four caution signs, insulating gloves and 29 insulated tools such as pliers, open end wrenches or a ratchet set. Of course, all tools included in the set are approved for work on electric vehicles. On the website, you can see in detail what we have included in this set. We're starting with the set in Europe and hope to expand to other markets in the near future. That's all from our transport solutions. Now let's come to the sophisticated hand tools. Because let's be honest, what would a Knipex update be without pliers? 
We've saved these two new products for you for the end of our update. They will be presented by Nicolas Boden, team leader in product management and one of our pliers experts. Thank you, Brandy and Britta, and hello to all of our viewers. I'm happy to show you now our new products that come fresh out of our forge. Let's start with the universal pliers, which you certainly already know, in 145 millimeter lengths, our small needle nose combination pliers. And this tool convinces with its combination of robustness and at the same time a very good accessibility due to the slim head and twist proof tips and also a very high leverage joint. And exactly this mix we have now brought into a bigger length in our new 185 millimeter long needle nose combination pliers. And this universal tool is the ideal companion for a variety of applications and perfect for installation and repair work. But let's go into detail of, this, of the many advantages of this plier. As we all know, not every work area is easily accessible. Especially in those situations, the needle nose combination pliers show their strength thanks to their narrow head shape as well as the slim design of the tips. In addition to good accessibility, the tips also have another advantage. They are very twist proof. This means that the tips will not press away from each other under high loads. Instead, they remain in position. And I will show you that in an example that I have here, where I like to connect uh, a wheel with a shaft using one of those cutter pins. Yeah, I put it into the the bore here next to the shaft and then I will grip it with the strong tips of the needle nose pliers to deform it and connect those two pieces with each other. When looking at the gripping surface you will see a convex contour and this convex geometry on one side of the jaw enables particularly secure holding and gripping of long materials by a three-point support. I will show it using this long copper rail. I put it in between the gripping jaws of the pliers and due to the three contact points between the tool and the workpiece in combination with the high leverage, it's very easy for me to hold this in place. And I can get even further. So if I take the weight of this needle nose combination pliers, I put, put it on here. And as you can see, it's also very easy for me to hold this in place. And imagine if I would do this with a conventional combination or needle nose pliers, due to the then only two contact points, this will slip forward. But there are other clever detail solutions in these pliers. One of them is a milled gripping notch right in front of the tip. It has a diameter of 1.8 millimeters and it's not round, but oval in shape. And this allows me to grab small things like nails to hammer them in a wall, for example, and even bigger, materials like those suspension wires that has four millimeters. I can grip that and hold that very securely. A special advantage also for all those who work with cables. Therefore, I take this version of the tool. Solid conductors can be gripped and deformed without damaging the insulation. So I can deform it to insert them, for example, in a spring clamp. In addition, the pliers also have a gripping surface for larger round materials. Finally, we come to what for me is the most convincing argument of these pliers, the high leverage joint. This not only allows me to grip, hold and pull materials particularly strong, as already shown, cutting even hard wires up to a diameter of three millimeters and also medium hard wires like this nail up to 3.8 millimeters can easily be done. And this works quite successful with the sharp inductive hardened cutting edges that I will show you now. The range includes different handle and surface finishes. 
starting with the pliers with dipped handles, all the way to the insulated versions with a chrome plated surface, which should be the preferred model for all the electricians. Now let's move on to the second new pair of pliers. Already available as a version for cable dimensions in the unit of AWG, as they are used in some countries, we are now bringing, by your request, the metric version of these pliers on the market. I'm talking about our forged wire strippers for metric cable cross sections. Already with the design of the tool, you can see that it's something special and it contains many useful functions. Close to the joint of the wire stripper for an optimal leverage are the induction hardened cable shears with a special cutting geometry. As you can see here, the lower blade has a step design. And this has the effect that single wires of cables are cut one after another and therefore the cutting effort is significantly reduced compared to conventional cable shears. I will show it to you while cutting this flat wire, put it into the cable shear and I cut it with ease. And I also can cut round wires up to a diameter with maximum 15 millimeters. This is five times 2.5 square millimeters so that you can see also this is cutting very easily. Directly above the cable shear are the five stripping profiles. And this allows to strip stranded cables with a cross section of 0.5 to 4 square millimeters and solid cables with a cross section of 0.75 to 6 square millimeters. Now, one or the other might ask why we distinguish between solid and stranded conductors. The reason is that compared to stranded conductors, solid cables have a smaller outer diameter for the same conductor cross section. Let's have a look at the stripping profiles in particular. The profile of 4 and 6 square millimeters are useful to install, for example, water heaters, wall boxes, or also in the industry often for those socket distributors. Those cables were installed in those uh, distributors and I will show you how easy it is to strip 6 square millimeter cables with this tool. In the center position, you will find 1.5 and 2.5 square millimeter profiles. And this is very useful for power cables in home installation. In the upper area are the stripping profile for the small cross sections. Nowadays, you will find those cables in the field of control technology. Whether in the house or industry, they are used, for example, for fire alarm systems and heating regulation or other smart home functionalities. I have here a fire alarm system cable, so this has a very small diameter. And as you can see here, I also can strip those cables with this tool. In order to be able to better distinguish the stripping points and to maintain an overview, we have attached two positioning bars that divide the different areas from each other. This means that with a little practice, you can always find the right stripping profile for your application. Now let's have a look at the gripping jaws of the tips of the forged wire stripper. It has a very flat jaw design. This guarantees a very good accessibility when working in tight spaces, for example, in switch cabinets. At the same time, the jaw is as wide as a combination pliers, which gives the wire stripper a large gripping surface with a cross-hatched profile in the front area. And this surface is particularly suitable for gripping solid conductors and twisting them together. I have here an example of two solid conductors that I will show you now how easily I can grip them and twist them together. The end I will cut off. In addition, as with our needle nose combination pliers, you will also find a milled gripping notch, 
here in the gripping zone and also the gripping surface with a convex geometry that provides a strong gripping action with a three-point contact. Clearly a pair of pliers that should not be missing in any tool bag of an electrician. With that, it's goodbye from my side and I hope our two new pliers make your workday easier. So back to you, Britta and Brandy. Thank you very much, Nico. Britta, unfortunately, we've arrived at the end of our Knipex update. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. You can find all information about our new products on our homepage. You have seen our new mobile solutions and two new pliers. We were happy to update you with the latest developments from Knipex. But you can be sure our developers and engineers are already working hard on new product developments and evolutions. So the next update is sure to come. And we look forward to welcoming you again. Bye. Bye. Bye.